What's up my BEG community? This is Miko and today I want to talk about my Uber Eats Pro account. So as of March of this year, I switched over from Uber Pro to Uber Eats Pro. And it's been okay. I mean, it's been what? March, April, May, June, July, five months. And I've been at platinum one time. <laughs> one time I am not joking so it was one month that I focused more on doing DoorDash so I can get my acceptance rate up so I can be top dasher and I didn't do a lot of Uber Eats so I couldn't make the points because the turnaround on the points is one month you don't have three months like uh, Uber Pro you only have one month. So if you can't get the 300 points in one month, they're going to drop you down to gold. Now, it's only 100 points with gold. And I can do that. I can get my 100 points with gold. I mean, you can kind of like do that with just lunch and dinner for like maybe a week or so. But for the 300 points... Is and now it's been hard because of the summer slowdown. Maybe it'll get better next month. You know, uh, our kids start going back in August, different weeks. But in Katie, I think they go back on the 17th of August. So with Uber Pro, you have blue, gold, platinum, and diamond. Uber Pro with the blue is zero with the gold is 500 points with platinum is 2500 points and with diamond is 7500 points now you have a three month uh turnaround to get those points so it's you know i guess you have more points to get so that's why you know you can do it in three months on the uber eats pro side you have where it's 100 points for gold I mean, I can, you know, keep that, but with the platinum and diamond, I have to get back to platinum and to go to diamond. But I, like I said, I've been stuck on gold. So who out there has, uh, or who out there have the Uber East Pro? How do you like it? Have you, are you on platinum? Are you on diamond? Um, maybe you have a better market than me. You know, it's a little bit different for me here. So soon I'll be in a different market. Within four months, I will be in a, a better market. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. But I don't know. Um, let me know what you think of the Uber Eats Pro point system. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it easy for you to be at platinum or diamond? Or are you kind of like just stuck at gold like I am? Um, and then I want to hear from the Uber Pro people. Um, did you, are you on, stuck on blue? <laughs> or are you on gold or platinum or diamond? Like I said, I, it was one, when I was doing uh, the ride share at Uber Pro and I was in Nashville, I've been on Diamond. I loved it. But when I moved to Houston, mm, 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 everything changed because it just did. It changed. And I just started declining a lot. And I was on blue. They dropped me all the way down to blue. And I said, okay, I need to figure out something. But I finally did. This year, March, I switched my account because I knew I wasn't going to do ride share anymore. So it didn't make sense for me to keep having that type of account when I can just do Uber Eats um, only. So that's what I do. And I can still pick up packages. I can still do alcohol. I can still do all that. I just can't do ride share. And I'm okay with that because I, I, I only have like 35 lifetime rides anyway. So <laughs> I don't even care about the ride share. But drop a comment below. Let me know if you're uh, doing Uber Eats Pro or if you want Uber Pro and how you like the point system. Is it hard for you to get to the next level and actually stay at the next level? Um, let me know. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, push it out, 
to the YouTube world so more people can see this video. Support the channel. If you're new here, welcome. For the current uh, subscribers, uh, thank you for watching my content and watching all my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.